This demonstration is to show you a simple way of how you can take a cheap plastic skeleton part, the kind you get at a typical dollar store, and transform it using inexpensive and resourceful materials to make something grotesque and more realistic. Make sure your workstation is ready to go with all the materials you need with a covered surface so you can get good and messy. Break out the latex, cotton, toilet paper, spider webbing, and get started! Begin by applying latex to the prop. Focus on the areas where the plastic is joined together with harsh edges or there's an obnoxious branded stamp. You'll want to conceal those areas. Tip. To make your latex go further, you can always start with a round of covering your prop in a light glue and water base and paper mache some of the prop. Usually cheap skeleton parts at the dollar store are on the small end, either just a hand or just a compromised forearm. You can extend these parts by using paper mache methods with a little cardboard, tape, and toilet paper to alter the shape and length of the skeleton arm. Use a mix of the cotton pieces, toilet paper, and spider webbing to add texture as desired. Think about where muscle tissue would be. You can sculpt areas using the latex and toilet paper and cotton to define areas that you want to build up and give a specific shape to. Gently apply the cotton and webbing and pull it in desired directions for gnarly skin effects. Secure placement with more latex and tissue. Switch between using the toilet paper and cotton based on the desired outcome. Remember, the paint will react differently with the materials and help add depth and texture, so go nuts with varying techniques. Paint the prop and really bring it to life. Acrylic paints work great. Colors I recommend are Burnt Sienna, Burnt Umber, Black, Brilliant Red, Magenta, and Bronze Yellow. Set up your paints and water cup and get started. With my props, I've decided that they've been sitting around decaying for a bit after being gnawed on by a creepy monster. I want a lot of red, because I want them bloody. For an aged look, start with a brown paint wash. Liberally apply paint with a brush, adding water and paint as needed. Use paper towels to dab away and rub paint around the prop. You'll see how the latex and cotton areas absorb the paint differently. Then, just keep painting away until your prop has reached the finish line in all its gory beauty. You may want to consider using a fixative or sealant to keep your prop in good condition. Once upon a time, all of these gory props that you see here started as inexpensive skeleton parts that I dirtied up using the methods shown in the demonstration. I hope that you feel inspired to pick up some cheap skeleton props yourself and turn them into something great with production value.